was already planning his workout schedule the day after the game. So you can doubt whatever you want. You can say whatever you want, have your opinions. But the fact of the matter is you're dogging a man that came back from almost a career ending injury to go 12 and five who mm-hmm. won his division. Oh, a trash division. Okay. Aaron Rodgers wasn't undefeated um, in the div- so, division too. By right, undefeated Six and Aaron Rodgers. You, you go look at Aaron Rodgers division, the bottom of the barrel two two teams at the bottom. Beating. We had a better record with our bottom team. Mm-hmm. You go all the way up the ladder to the second place team. Every team that was directly across from his team in his league, we had a better record then. And that's just a fact. And, you know, okay, well, they don't play anybody. Well, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about that. If you don't play anybody, you should be able to stay healthier. So it's an advantage, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. why don't you go talk to real coaches? Real coaches will tell you. If you're not there, you don't know the reads, you don't know the routes, you don't know the discipline, you don't know the game plan, you don't have an understanding as to what's been worked on, you you don't you don't know about anything else that's going on. You really everything you say is simply uh conjecture or just an opinion. It's not fact, you know, and and excuses are only excuses when they're not based in fact. There you go. E. Uh, Doozle, shout out to you on the Super Chat. Mississippi State alumni, Cougars love Dak. So shout Hell out State, to you. bro. There you go. Oh, man. Um, well, Phil, I don't want to take too much of your time, man. This has been been great. You know, I know we'll be talking to you at some point about things that are going on. But one last thing here. So is Dak already working out? He's Or is he taking a week or two? And You know, you know I, obviously, he. I'm pretty sure he's going to take a week or two just – to let his body, you know, rest and let his mind rest and, mm-hmm. and just get past all the, the psychological stuff. He, he, he really doesn't pay attention to all the social media crap, you know, I, and I do my best to try to stay off of it. And, you know, I, just so I, I was that, told that you, you, uh, you leave the social media at the door. You don't bring that into the house. Oh, I, I don't heard. bring it in the house. But, uh, no, I mean at Dax house. That if you oh, uh, don't no, don't bring oh, up social, no, <laughs> no sir, no sir. There's you don't even bring your phone in that house unless okay. you know unless you're taking pictures or you got business. You know he actually has a sign that says you know cell phones stay here in his foyer. I now, can't blame that's, him on that that's one. not necessarily for family, but it uh. You know, it is what it is. And, and you know, I, I really want to uh, send a little challenge out before we end Oh, I like a challenge. I like a and challenge. I, I, I would like to challenge all of them, the Emmanuel Achos, the Skip Baylesses, the Cowherds, the Keyshawn Johnsons, Mm-mm. all these guys who jumped Shannon Sharps, who jumped on Dak's character after that oh, interview. Yeah. And I would like them to post their humanitarian – uh, uh, resume, their character resume mm-hmm. up against Dak. And let's see, as an unbiased, let's put an unbiased group of judges together and see who's been a better humanitarian, who's been a better person, who's been better to, to taking care of people and being good to people and raising money for cancer and raising money for non-lethal mm-hmm. weapons, for social injustice, for cops and who's stood up for mental health and who has helped kids in need, who has spent money and and donated products for people who are suffering in hurricanes and natural disasters. I would like very much to challenge any of them to try to stand up to the character that Dak has instead of putting him down for one simple little tasteless joke that was taken completely out of context. And how about the fact that everybody in that room laughed Do you think all those people are idiots? Do you think all those people were condoning violence Mm -hmm. when they laughed? No, they laughed (laughs) because they knew he was being sarcastic and they knew it was a joke, but they still attacked him anyway. And they did it to keep him from becoming Walter Payton man of the year, just like they're attacking him and politicking against him becoming the comeback player of the year, comparing him to, uh, Burroughs, who had an MCL, compared to Dak, who broke his leg to the point of maybe not even coming back. I 
Joe Burrow's a great quarterback. He played for LSU. That's my home state. I respect him. I, I'm, I'm proud of him. I hope he continues to do good. I got no ill will towards anybody. I give respect to anybody who does it. Um, but to say he's had no help because he's got a, an offensive line that's not exactly to the standards is ridiculous. His crew blew it on a whistle. Mm -hmm. Tannehill threw three interceptions. Mm -hmm. He has had help. And, yeah. and not to say that that's belittling him or putting him down. I'm just saying it's funny how everybody wants to be realistic when they're hating on Dak, but yet Dak takes more hate on a win than most of these players who are supposed to be better than him mm -hmm. when they take a loss against garbage teams. So just kind of be realistic and understand what that these people, these men are real people who have real families who face this hate on an everyday occasion. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got one more thing, Mark. Oh, we, hey, I, I got all day. I got all when, day. When Dak's mom passed away, mm -hmm. we had a fan from Ole Miss say that now that Mississippi State oh, yeah. lost to Alabama and dropped them number one, mm -hmm. their season's ending up just like Dak's mom. This yeah. is the kind of crap our family has dealt with. Yeah, I, I've seen some there, of that that kind of stuff with uh, it, it's, losing it's his horrible, brother and man. things. It's it's uh, you know people. It, unfortunately, when people are famous, they don't realize that they're just like everybody else. That they have feelings and things too, and families and all that. And it, it's it's just disgusting the way sometimes you you get treated. And um, you know, I shout out, thank you very much for being on here because I know. You know, with the Kevin Milton's and people like that on Facebook that, you know, it's easy to be a keyboard warrior and not have a face to you and to be able to say all kinds of hateful things, but they don't realize what harm they can actually do to others. You know, I commend Dak for being brave and talking about mental illness because the amount of people that he helped just by coming out and doing that made others say, oh, Look at this guy. He's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, and he's having some same feelings and problems that I have. So maybe I'm not so, you know, off after all. And it's a shame that, like you're talking about, the Shannon Sharps and stuff, that they want to kill him about some bullshit-ass comment that was a joke. Uh, you know, but again, it, it's all about the money. So, you know, I, I, my, my heart goes out to you. I know that you guys have been through so much between losing your sister, losing your mother, um, losing Dak's brother. I mean, it's just like hit after hit after hat and going through COVID and all this, it's just been a, a terrible world the last couple of years, but you can see the character and the strength in Dak Prescott to just kind of brush all that stuff off and continue to keep being Dak and keep getting better every year. You know, as bad as Cowboy fans feel about this year, the fact that we won twice as many games as we did last year, I had 12 opportunities this year to feel great every Sunday and be able to brag. And I look at it from yeah. the standpoint that we're going back up. We're not going to the garbage. We're going up. So I'm happy. I don't know about, I don't know about you, but I can even add a, another couple of games to that because I felt pretty good about the Tampa Bay game. I did you know? too. Yep. Uh, you know, what he did up in New England, winning that game, uh, when it turns around and you see how good New England ended up being, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, you know, Mark, I, I just, I want to want to let you know, I'm going to say it again. I've said it before. Uh, you're, you're not one of these narrative people. You're, you're, you're an honest guy and your show probably has more integrity than any of these wow. national TV shows. And, uh, your format continues to get better as you grow and you put into your thing with real passion. And I highly, highly uh, recommend your show and support your show and you as a man, you know. Well, thank so, you very much. Props to you, brother, and, and it was good talking to yeah. you. Yeah, I got to get back to it, man. I yeah, get one last per – someone person said, see if you can get Dak for an interview. Come on, man. <laughs> Dak's a busy man. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm, his, I'm his uncle, and – You can't even get time to talk to him on the phone. <laughs> Look, I, I'm telling you, I, we text on a daily on a. I wouldn't even say daily basis. I te when I text, he answers. Mm -hmm. But you know, I got I got a I got autographed. I got shirts that got to get autographed. I've had for 
four years, man. Mm. Um, I don't ask him for autographs and I don't ask him to do things. He's, he's so busy, man. And, and, you know, it's not that we don't, I don't want to, it's not that I wouldn't do it. It's and like, I tell people who go, man, you know, I'd give anything to really, you know, just meet Dak. I respect him so much and, and, and I appreciate him so much. And I said, Hey man, you know what, you know, me and, and, that just means that you have a better opportunity, but I can't, I'm not going to make that happen. <laughs> no, gonna, man. No, believe me. I'm not going to do Look, I'm no, gonna, we're, we're happy I, to talk to you, Phil. We're happy to talk to you, buddy. Huh? I said, I'm happy to talk to you. Oh, hey, man. Me too. Same, same here. It's good to talk to you. I call you sometimes during those game days just to tell you how much fun it is mm-hmm. and how much I respect what you do on that thing, you know? So, hey, man, don't listen to the haters and, you know, uh, keep doing what you do, brother. You, you, you're getting better at it every day and you're already better than most. So oh, man. 